Hi folks, glad to see you all here today. Uh, the guy that I'm uh, going to be telling you about here really meant a lot to me during my early years as a racing fan. I grew up in the Waterford Speedball, and of course before I could drive, actually the only way I had learning about other drivers and other tracks was going to Shaney's souvenir stand, picking up cavalcade of water racing, speedway scene, whom I later worked for by the way. And during this period in the 70s, there was a Connecticut driver that really stood out. This guy was running at Stafford, Thompson, Plainville, Riverside Park, and occasionally Waterford. He was winning a bunch of features. He was kind of photogenic too. Two things stood out about the guy to this young race kid. He had these really cool 70s pork chop sideburns, kind of like Elvis. And he was always smiling to the camera and looking like he was having a great time. That guy was modified racer Ronnie Wyckoff. Many years later, when I was writing the Speedball column for Hall of Famer Val Lasseur Speedway Scene and Waterford Media Director Hall of Famer and my close friend Pete Zanardi was patiently trying to teach me how to string a sentence together, I got to meet Ron. You see, at the time, Waterford had kind of become a Saturday night destination for former modified drivers, many of which are Hall of Famers, to hang out, socialize, and catch some racing. Ronnie was one of those guys. After we became friendly, I learned that there's a few other things that stand out about Ronnie in addition to the ever-present grin in those former sideburns. He's very, very humble about his career. In talking with him, you'd never think he even won a feature, much, much less multiple Riverside 500 team races, the crown jewel of the once powerful United Stock Car Racing Club. Taking checkers at a tough joint like Plainville Stadium was never a cakewalk either. Just ask any of the stadium alumni that are here today. Any one of boatload of those features. Stafford and Thompson are also on his resume, and there were great runs at high speed away venues like Trenton's, Trenton, Martinville, and Pocono. When you talk to the guys he ran against weekly, you hear things like you never had to worry about Ronnie, you could run wheel to wheel with him for laps, and Ronnie was just a good racer and a good person, never had an issue with him. Those comments from fellow competitors say a whole lot about how he conducted his racing. His talent proven, Ronnie never had to search for a ride either, and was sought out by some of the best teams in the business to wield their equipment. Perhaps it's our friend, celebrated writer Bones Borsier, that best sums up Ronnie's career. He recently had this to say, Ronnie Wyckoff became one of my first modified heroes, if not the very first, for a very simple reason. As a kid, I waved to him from the fence of Plainville Stadium and he waved back. He was on the front straightaway, strapped into a coupe, ready to run his heat race. But he seemed to realize that this was an important moment to that young kid at the fence. Now, waving to a kid doesn't get a guy into the New England Auto Racing fame, Hall of Fame, but it goes a long way toward turning casual fans into serious fans. And it has kept Ronnie Wyckoff in my personal Hall of Fame for more than 40 years. To me, Ronnie Wyckoff was the embodiment of the short track racer in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. He worked a full-time job all week, then on the weekends he packed up his helmet and his uniform and he went racing. Sometimes he won, sometimes he lost, but come Monday morning he was going to start the whole cycle again go to work, put in his hours, and wait until Saturday night, and once again he'd become a stock car hero. Guys like him were the bedrock of this sport. The stats prove that Ronnie Wyckoff won a ton of feature races during what many consider the true golden era of New England modified racing, all while remaining liked and trusted by his fellow competitors and the teams that he drove for. As for the fans and media, and this is an important one, folks, he was always accessible, win, lose, or draw. And he always did it with a smile, and it simply doesn't get any better than that in this game. It's my absolute pleasure to welcome Ronnie Wyckoff, one of our region's best modified racers, into the New England Auto Racing Hall of Fame today. Well, one of
want to thank everybody here that came here to see what's going on. And I'll tell you what, I loved racing no matter where I was going, whether it was Plainville, Riverside, or wherever it was. But I had a lot of fun, met a lot of good people, and fans and everything. So I had many good times. Some bad times too, but I mean, that's part of the way it goes. <laughs> yeah. so, I don't know what else to say, but I mean, even like Riverside Park, we had the team races and stuff like that, and had good, had drove for a bunch of good people, and with a lot of good drivers and stuff, we had a lot of fun back when it wasn't a lot of money to go racing either, not like today's days, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you all very much. It was good many times. <laughs> oh, one more.